Yeah, you know, right now, today, I ain't got much else, anything else done. But I'm working on the plows, not the baler like I had planned on. I said, I don't want to make this one of them videos, so I'm not going to go off too much about how I assumed that if the bearing was ordered Tuesday, that it was coming Wednesday, and then Wednesday when I didn't get a phone call 10 to 11 o'clock, or by noon, like they said, the truck comes in around 10, 30, 11, to find out if it did come in, and find out it could take two to three days to come in, which I didn't think it would take three days, but I didn't get no phone call today, so I still don't have the bearing. So hopefully tomorrow it will be in so I can bale the hay that I wanted to bale Sunday and that I've been holding off cutting any more hay because I have no way to bale it. So I guess I just work on something else. But if I had known, you know, I, I think it's my fault I assumed that it would take one day, maybe two. But they should have told me it could have taken up to three. If I was known it was going to take three days, I would have called the dealer up in New York State that I looked up that was almost two hours away. Or I would have called Messex. They might have had to bury and they mail stuff out. But, yeah, you, know, you try to support local businesses. And around here, I don't think it's worth the effort anymore. I'm, I swear nobody around here does what they're supposed to do at their job. They don't want to stock nothing. They don't want to help you do nothing. I just think this it's, this area is dead in agriculture. But, but like I say, if I want to get this sorghum sedan grass in, I mean, it's not like I have nothing else to do here. I got to get this ground plowed. I still got to haul manure, but, you know, maybe I should be doing that while it's hot and dry instead of going to try to plow. But this has to be done too. And I got half this ground is ready to plow. Since I'm not going to put manure on it, or either I've already got the manure on it, or I'm going to spread what fertilizer I have on it. So, but the one thing I had to fix on this was this disc coulter. This shaft that goes through here broke off. I mean, it broke off. I don't get it. It actually broke off in here because this shaft just comes through here and they put this bead of weld around it and that's it it's just press i don't know if it's actually a press fit in there or not but it's uh just welded on the end well it actually broke off back in there and i took the torch yesterday and i burnt this end right out and took the piece that was still there and got it worked in there in a pretty decent position and and i have somewhat figured out that welder i don't know how well that's going to hold but i just stuck i mean it's welded to this piece in here now i mean i just put the rod in there and i just kept burning and burning and let it cool off some and you know built that up in there and then let's see it here on this inner side, I ran a bead around it to help hold it. So, we'll see how strong my weld is. It should hold. So, as far as I know, that's all I got to do to these plows is get that back on. All I got to do now is I can get my pin back in for the spring and get my drift pin in that holds that in. Uh, go through and grease it. I don't think I need any metal. It was all fairly new points last year. I didn't plow much after it was all new shins last year. I think I put landslides on last year. For the most part, the metal's good on this. Like, hey, I already did plow some this year. I'd plow a little garden patch for relatives for pumpkins. You know, you gotta be when you got landlords that are relatives and you're using the land for free you kind of got to do these little jobs for them to keep them happy but that usually ends up being the case you're doing something for somebody else and not getting your own stuff done but so i gotta find a drift pin or a roll pin i should say to get, keep that held on 
and go through and grease this thing. I mean, it takes a lot of grease in these fittings here. So, I really don't have no good place to set this up at to watch do this. Um, so, when will I get back at to? Best things about this, these uh, cordless guns is for this. This takes a lot of grease. Especially this back post. See, I got our shaft I got to weld up too. Probably could run it the way it is. I noticed this one over here broke too. So that shouldn't take much. I should be able to... Welding like that I seem to be able to do something I don't have to worry about that I'm going to burn through. But I can pop a bead onto that and hopefully it'll hold. Because this one, if you break... Yeah, this... Anything with this coulter, I think it's going to be hard to find parts for. Because there's only one like it on every plow, so you're only going to be finding parts plows to get that part. So you got limited choice. Where well, these three are all the same. In fact, this one's already off a white plow, a newer plow. But you do have... Uh, say three on... On a four bottom plow like this, so you got a little more supply you can get. I do have, now I'm pissed, I can't find, I can't find the shaft. I do have another colt to here, same thing, the shaft broke out in there and I don't know what to happen to it. So I'm gonna have to get a piece of stock measure off one of them how long it needs to be do the same thing I just did this other one and hope I can drill a hole through it to get the pin that holds it in so but I guess I'm gonna try to get that welded up and maybe I can go plow some That's the thing, I'm not going to get much else done this week. Like I said, tomorrow, hopefully that bearing's in. I can run to get it. Get the baler back together and hopefully get my hay baled. Like Saturday, you know, I have to bail hay Saturday. Well, I got a family reunion to go to. And it's kind of hard not to go to a, it. was just around the corner on some of the ground that I work. Relatives from Michigan and Pittsburgh come up. So, but there's been years I haven't gone to it. So... I'm going to get this turned around and I see, maybe see if I can go plow some.
Well, I don't know how much I'm gonna footage I'm gonna get here. My battery's running low. But I did get out here and plow. I plowed one little little field down there. It's just too much lever work to hold the camera. And yeah, it was a mess. Did plow pretty good, but I ended up I broke that point. I hooked a rock and threw lifted these plows right out of the ground. So I had to go home and fix that. And then my well job didn't hold. But part of the problem is some idiot didn't put the cotter pin in that holds the pin that hold for this here. So that came out and it dropped down and spun it around, broke the welds off. So I guess I gotta redo that again. And I say, if you don't fix it right, then it breaks again. One little cotkey screws everything up. But, oh, what the hell happened here? For some reason, plows don't wanna pull straight through there. And once you get a little bend in, it just keeps compounding every time. I know one or two passes back, it didn't seem to be pulling like it should. I don't know if I had a rock hooked or something, but it ain't following right there now. This side's holding fairly good. I always get a bow in it. It's going to be a rough job. It's dry out, hard. I'm plowing a little deeper. Probably normal. That's why it's not rolling over quite completely. But by the time I disc this, you'll never know it's been there.
happy I'm plowing it up. coming out wavy because this is a track. I don't normally plow with this tractor and the wheel spacing ain't quite the same as the other one. So. But like I say, once I hit with the discs, you'll never know it. It's not plowing out too bad. So I guess I'm going to make a couple more passes. It'll be chore time. My battery's about dead as it is. So thanks for watching and we'll catch up with you later.